Welcome to the Gospel Coast! I'm Chris. I'm Heather. On today's episode, we're going to talk about that new Marvel Collector Core box that's all about X-Men! You know, no one really seemed to want that box. One, we gotta talk a little louder. <clears throat> my, my... I know, we gotta get it, gotta vocalize a little bit. Here, push the chest down a little bit. That'll get it out there. Oh! Uh, see? Watch. Uh, watch. Oh! Uh, see? You know, no one really seemed to want that box. I really don't understand how somebody could dislike this box. This pop is awesome! What the f***? So let's talk about one of my favorite parts of this box. It's Angel from the X-Men. I think he's amazing looking. He's great. A lot of people were not happy that they didn't get a character like Nightcrawler or Gambit, which are very popular characters that we haven't gotten yet. But I think this character is great. I like the wings on him. I like the detail on the wings. I, I think they hit this one out of the ballpark. The only issue I have with it is the paint of the hair is going over top the mask a little bit. It has like a little bit of like overspray on it. It bums me out. I don't like that his hair comes out of the top. Why? He's like Captain Marvel. It's cool. Yeah, I don't like it. I think he has like a 90s boy band haircut and it shouldn't, it should be under there definitely. So you think the mask should go over top of the hair? You don't like the fact that the hair is sticking out? Yeah, but like I understand it's probably part of his character, so there's probably nothing they could do about that. Because right. if it wasn't out, then people would probably complain that it wasn't out. But like I just think that that, like that part of the pop, like I'd be cool with like. <laughs> like. I would like all of it except the top of the head. If you could just chop the top of the head off, that would be great. Yeah, I just really don't like that hair. So hold this for a second. Okay. So the one thing that is different about this, now it does come in a regular Funko Pop box. Standard shaped, sized Funko Pop box. However, what holds the pop in is one of these plastic numbers here, which is like a 10 inch pop plastic insert. Yeah, that's odd. Isn't that interesting? I've never seen this with a pop before. This is the very first time. And my assumption is because the wings are so big, they're long and they're thin, so they're probably easy yeah, to break off. Yeah, it's probably protecting that. This is one that I would love to see as a proto. I think he would be a very cool looking proto. Well, yeah, he would look like this pop, only painted like white or nude or something. Right, but you know that the material is almost a little different. And sometimes, the, and, yeah. yeah. Sometimes but it I can be translucent. I would love to see it without the paint overspray, <laughs> personally, <laughs> um, because I think he would. Because that is one thing that is really, um, uh, it's a big standout for this particular pop for me. I've never really noticed overspray like this, and the more that we sit here and talk about it, the more I get angry. You want to know my favorite part of this pop? I know where you're going with this, Heather. <laughs> All right, you guys, I don't think you're ready for this. Look at that firm buttocks. Look at the butt. That's a firm buttocks if I've ever seen one. He's going that to is. the gym, he's working out. Next in the box is Dark Phoenix Rock Candy. She's awesome. I really like this rock candy. The only other rock candy that I like is the Grady Twins. All the rest, in my opinion, are just not good. They're garbage. Well, I feel like a big part of your dislike for them is a lot of them, and I'm just speaking from what I've seen, but I feel like a lot of them are DC. A lot of them are, yeah, I guess you could say a lot of them are DC, but they they just don't look so good to me. Like, I, I don't like the way that they look. I like, like, people don't like the way Dorbs look. We like them. But that's how I feel about rock candy. Yeah. But this one and the Grady Twins are different to yeah. me. The Grady t Twins stand out. They have the blood. And plus, it's from a, an iconic horror movie. We love horror. Yeah. But this character looks awesome because she has the fire. Um, the hair is kind of up in the air. Like, it's flowing a little bit. Or, like, you know, she's... Or this immense power is coming out of her. Yeah. Um, and she has that shiny, like, gold wrapped around her. I think she just really stands out as a rock candy. I think she looks great. And I would go as far to say this might be my very favorite part of this box! Can you believe it? You know what she reminds me of a lot? What? Is the mystery minis. Just yes, me too. because they have the white... I, I mean, I know that they're totally different and that's not why they did it, but well, that's what she reminds me of. Funny that you say that. The mystery mini does look like this. Really? Yes, a lot. I wow. looked it up today, actually. She is a bit of a firm buttocks, too. 
What is with this box and firm buttocks? I don't know. I guess that's the theme. It's not really X Men. It's butts. Look for comparison. Holy crap! You're not. Holy crap! <laughs> this box has a buttload of butts. Mm -hmm. Actually, two. I don't consider two a buttload. Yeah. What's nice. what's the size of a normal buttload? I would say like at least eight. Buttloads? No, just eight equals one buttload. Eight plus equals one buttload. Eight of what? Exactly. Do you want to see my favorite part of the box? Yeah, definitely. Oh my god. What were they thinking with these? I don't know. I haven't really worn these since like middle school. They remind me of the character Beast and like maybe what his like little beast feet would be like. You know, maybe that's what they were going for. I think that's what they're going for because they are sort of like, I don't know how to explain it. It's sort of like fuzzy. Um, fuzzy. Yeah, like a fuzzy. Uh, kind of feeling to them. Well, you could actually wear them maybe as a, even a, a glove. Look! Oh, they fit your little tiny fingers perfectly. You know what my favorite part about it is? What? Well. Oh, no. No. Okay. No. no. Can you fix my pinky toe? Put it in there? Yeah, there you go. Ugh. You know what they remind me of? Huh? Disgusting? I don't know. No, they remind me of a facial yeah. towel. Ew, no, I don't like that. The last two items inside the box, this X-Men notebook and this Wolverine pen. Wow, they really did something good with that. They didn't just give you a pen and nothing to write on, and they didn't just give you a notebook with nothing to write in it with. Wow, good observation, Heather. Thanks. They did really good. Okay. You can take notes in class. Thanks. Or like at a seminar. So. Or like write down phone numbers. Okay. Can I now talk about this stuff? Or write down how pretty you think I am. I will. I promise. On every page. Every line. So. So this uh, Wolverine pen is really cool. I happen to like the pens. Yeah. I don't think any pens fit better with us than Pop pens. pens. That's right. Yeah. You get because, a little figure and you get a pen at the same time. Yeah. Like, Bix are cool and all. Like, they're really cheap. And, like, they write good. But if I'm using it, it just isn't me. Like, you see someone writing with this and they're obviously boring. But if you see somebody like this, writing with this, you know you're around good people. Anyway, so this Wolverine pen is awesome. And uh, the Xavier School for Gifted Youngsters book is cool. I love that it's sort of like a prop item. That's what it kind of reminds me of, too. Yeah. Um, it's like sort of like a leather plastic, I guess. Um, it's not real leather, obviously. Um, but it's shiny on the front. I just think it's cool. I think it's a cool item to throw in there along with uh, a pen. They go together really, really well. Guys, what did you think of this Marvel Collector Core box? I personally think it was a winner. I think it was good. Too bad they had to overspray on the Angel Pop. Love this uh, this rock candy uh, phoenix. Love the book. Love the pen. I think it's great. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Guys, remember to go over to shoemistore.com. Use promo code WEHUNTTOGETHER for 10% off of your order. They have a bunch of fun good pops over there. Go check them out at shoemistore.com. And remember to go over to alltimetoys.com. They have a lot of toys over there. Their selection is very wide. And they have a lot of obscure stuff too. Old stuff, new stuff. They've got it all. Go and check them out. Alltimetoys.com. Guys, remember right here on our YouTube channel, hit that like, comment, share, and subscribe button. Share us with all of your friends. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell. That way you'll know anytime we go live or post new content. You're not going to want to miss what we have coming up. Your likes are our favorite, and we love to read your comments. And don't forget to share us with your friends. We're going to be doing a huge 2,500 subscriber giveaway where we're going to be giving away an awesome Mezco figure. Thanks what? to Jason from All Time Toys. What? Share us with your friends. Get us to 2,500 subscribers really fast so we can get that to the winner really fast. Also, if we hit 5K, he's giving away a Hot Toys. Bye! Mm-hmm. As always, remember, we hunt together, yes! We will catch you next time! Bye! We hope that you enjoyed this episode of the Gasselcast. If so, please hit that subscribe button and check out some of our other fun content. We've left you some links to some of our other videos that we thought you might like. We'll catch you next time. Bye! <laughs>